Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Sazare, on how to repeat the last action in Cinema 4D in a fashion that's similar to Maya's last command. Now, Cinema 4D doesn't really have a repeat last command in the exact same way that Maya does, but we can re reapply our commands uh, for many of the tools here within Cinema 4D. So, for example, let's say we're uh, modeling something, we're going to come in and Pull, pull in something like a simple cube, uh, hit C in order to make that cube editable. And now we can come in and uh, come to our poly tool. Say we wanted to extrude some of these faces. I'll just select a face, right click and open up my extrude tool. Now we can always come in and extrude this here in our viewport and take a look at the offset in the attributes as I adjust this. We can see that our offset is being adjusted. And when I'm done with this tool, Cinema 4D does a really nice job of actually remembering those settings so I can easily come in and just apply a new transformation and basically what it's going to do is it's going to perform another extrusion with exactly these same settings. So I can hit new transform. We can see that that's been applied there and we can really gain a nice a very fine level of control over this by say if we wanted to come in and adjust that offset uh, say we wanted something like 25 and then we can apply a new transform and basically repeating that last command by actually performing or doing a new transform with these same settings. So that is a look at how we can repeat the last command within Cinema 4D. Now, if you want to learn some more great Cinema 4D tips and workflow techniques, check out the Introduction to Modeling in Cinema 4D course.